Hi, we are the Gum Snails, and my name is Brandon Durkin. My name is Craig Seiler. I'm Marcelina Rosario. Ricardo Sandoval. I'm Carissa Savard. And we will be talking about the movie, DVD, and game rental industry. Our outline, first we will define the industry, second we will go over growth, third we will talk about the macro environmental factors, and finally we will talk about the micro environmental factors. Defining the industry, the NAICS code is 53223. The industry has to do with the selling, buying, and renting of movies and video games. Last year, industry revenues were $6.6 .6 billion. Going over growth, the industry is currently in a declining phase of its existence. The industry is steady in the sense that there is always demand for new movies and video games, but it is also cyclical because the amount of sales go up when the economy is doing good and decrease when the economy is in a recession. In the past, the industry has experienced growth, but it is currently projected to decline by 13% by the year 2016. As you can tell from the graphs below, as consumer spending falls, so does the industry revenue. During the economic collapse during the 2008-2009 time frame, consumer spending drastically fell and so did industry revenues. There are two types of competition, direct competition and indirect competition. Direct competition consists of the two major players of Dish Network and Coinstar. Dish Network owns Blockbuster and Coinstar owns Redbox. Dish Network competes by using brick and mortar stores, kiosk systems, and videos by mail. Coinstar competes by only using the kiosk system. The indirect competition consists of video streaming. Such, people, such players in video streaming could, are Hulu and YouTube, which offer very inexpensive or free online streaming of TV shows and movies. Regulatory factors that affect the industry are going to be the copyright clause and the piracy laws. This has to do with the copying and distribution of intellectual property, such as DVDs and games. Um, technological advances are the invention and use of DVD rental kiosks, which can be placed in grocery stores and in retail stores such as Walmart. A negative impact on the industry is video on demand because it allows consumers to stream media online in the convenience of their home rather than renting a physical copy. Demographics um, show that households with children are more likely to rent. As you can see from the graph below, the kiosk rental index with the largest of 134 went to households with kids under the age of 18. Social trends that affect the industry are going to be devices that are used to view media. Examples of this can be game consoles that are constantly being changed and updated. So out of 6.6 .6 billion people in the market share, 20.7 are between the ages of 18 and 24. Um, customers can be found anywhere where there is a retail, retail rental store or there is a kiosk. Kiosks are usually located in supermarkets or outside of convenience stores. Um, kiosks are very helpful for the video rental industry because of the convenience it brings to customers. And as of right now, there is more kiosks than there is rental video stores and uh, they will increase within the years. Products that are offered in this industry include new release dates and many well-known title selections. Services that are provided for customers is immediate uh, customer service. If there's anything to go wrong with um, a product, you can deal directly with a representative. Brick Motor Rentals, Kiosk, and Coinstar are the key companies in this industry. For example, Coinstar owns Redbox and they introduced the kiosk and it generates 80% of Redbox's uh, revenue. In the next upcoming month, it's estimated the supply chain will be pushed back. Uh, major movie studios are distributors in this industry, such as Universal and Paramount. And we distribute these through national chains such as Blockbuster and Hollywood Video. And there are no labor unions in this industry. This is all we have. We hope you enjoyed it.